go to the switch seats. Go sit next to somebody else right now. All right, guys, as you're doing that, as you're switching your seats, I want to go ahead and bring up the superstar, the man, the myth, the legend, guys. As you're taking your seats, guys, what I want to do as we keep this training off is I want to go ahead and bring up someone I have a tremendous amount of respect for. Been in the industry 20 years now. I must say 20 years. A long time. Okay, started at, as a young man. He's still young now. Multi-millionaire. He's created other millionaires. He's built teams of literally two, three, four hundred thousand people. And he's here today, guys. But I can tell you one thing. He needs energy. He's here today to teach you how to get to five grand a week, ten grand a week, fifteen grand a week, twenty grand a week. And he's here to teach you today on how to do it within 30, 60, 90 days. Is there anybody in the house that wants more? more prosperity in their life. 
Now, it all starts with the product, okay? So as we talk about, guys, we are not a chocolate company first. We are a health company first that delivers health through chocolate. Does that make sense? Okay? So our vision is, is really created upon the philosophy that the greatest wealth in life is your health. Because at the end of the day, you can have all the money in the world, but if you're sick, you know, it doesn't really, it's not really as, as uh, uh, useful, if you will, as if you were a healthy uh, you know, individual, your family's health, that sort of thing. So our, our real purpose and vision first starts with uh, the health of the individuals that we touch with our product. Now, how does chocolate fit in that? Well, it's pretty simple. Chocolate is the delivery system to make that happen. Follow what I mean? Chocolate is a way for us to almost like the Trojan horse, so to speak, right? It allows you to get that product into people that normally probably wouldn't take it if it came in a, a normal pill or powder or potion or lotion or whatever it may be. And so the chocolate uh, creates a story, it creates a theme, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And obviously it, it uh, makes the product uh, uh, somewhat of a no-brainer, right? And so but our vision is to really create world-class science, guys, that is delivered through the world's, you know, favorite indulgence. And so 360 degrees of prosperity for health. Now, the other component of that is 360 degrees of prosperity for wealth. Because guys, you know, at the end of the day, uh, money's not everything, but I like what Zig Ziglar said, it ranks right out there with oxygen. Would you guys agree? Okay. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I, did, I always laugh when I meet people that come into the company and, well, I'm not here for the money, right? I'm just here to help people. I'm like, really? Okay, great. <laughs> you know, I'm not here, I don't need that recognition for all our stuff. Just give me the money and I'll be happy. Yeah, right. That's the first person to complain when you forget to announce their recognition that they had in the last event or something like that, right? No, guys, I mean, money is a part of life, you know? And it makes the world move. And the reality is, is that an old saying, a good person with, with money can do a lot more than a good person without. Does that make sense? Yes. And so that's what has been really the inspiration for us in the creation of things like the career path. You know, of putting together health insurance, right? Retirement. Okay, profit share, <laughs> putting all of these components into a network marketing company. You know, that's, no one's ever done that before. And the crazy thing about it is it's not that hard to do. You know? <laughs> Why not do it? You know, to us, it just makes sense. And so when building the career path, that was a lot of the, uh, the inspiration, if you will, behind the vision of some of the components you see in the plan is that 360 degrees of, of total prosperity uh, financially for our members. So guys, you know, our goal at our Vision 360 is really unique. Uh, this company is obviously here to make money without a doubt, like every for-profit company is, and we want the company to make great money. What I love about our founders and, and I love about the owners of 360 is they're not, they're not here for that reason. They are truly here to make an impact and to make an investment uh, that literally goes all over the world, okay? And uh, you know, making some money at it, that's great as well. But this is a company, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be around long term. This is a company that will be here for you. And a lot of companies say we care. Well, we don't just say it. We put our money where our mouth is, right? With things like our blessing bonus and, and the different, you know, different bonus to our, our career path. But the one thing I can tell you guys, this is a company that will never be sold. Uh, this is a company that will never go public. This is a company that will be multi-generational uh, for not only the owners of our company, but also for each one of us. Uh, so this is a company, guys, literally, that you're going to be able to build long-term Okay, I say that because sometimes we get real, you know, caught up and fired up about the short term. The short term is important, very important, right? But we also want to make sure that you understand that this is a business that is designed uh, to be here for you, but it's also a business, guys, that should be designed as well to be here for your children and your grandchildren, right? And your heirs, your family. Because think about it, folks. I mean, is chocolate ever going to go to stop? See, that's a different, here's, you got to get this, guys. That's one of the biggest differences to 360, as opposed to some of the different opportunities some of you have participated in, is you're involved in businesses that are they're, they're more faddish, if you will. You know? Like they come out with a new hot product or a new hot idea, and the challenge is those products and ideas don't stand the test of time. Makes sense. And the problem is because the company banks on that one particular product, or they bank on that one particular technology, right? Somebody asked me about their name. A company some of you are probably familiar with that came out with this you know, latest, greatest hot product about 10 years ago. They got the product on Nightline or 2020 or something like that. You know, it was hot, it was just exciting and all that kind of thing. And now they're really nowhere to be found, right? Because why? Because they had everything banked on that one, uh, you know, latest, greatest idea, so to speak. The beauty of chocolate is that chocolate has been here since the dawn of men, right? 
And as long as humans walk planet Earth, they'll be eating chocolate, okay? As I like to joke in our presentation, millions of new chocolate that are created every day, they're called babies, okay? And so the bottom line is that even when you and I are gone, okay, the next generation of chocolate lovers will be here. And uh, over a billion people will be eating it every day then as well, maybe more. So it's a commodity. It's not a concept. And that's the thing that I love about it. It's bigger than any of us. And so this is a business, guys, that as you move forward, I want you to realize that you're not just building it for today. Okay? This is a company and a business that you're building for tomorrow as well. But you need to understand about, uh, about the people that are behind 360 is that's our vision as well. One of the first questions that I asked Mark and Chuck the day we sat down back July 1st of 2012, one of the first questions I asked them is, where do you want to take this company? And I love Chuck's response. He actually said, well, let me ask you the question. He said, where do you want to take this thing, right? And I said, well, that's kind of interesting. Nobody's really ever asked me that, you know? And he said, look, Steve, he said, I'm just going to tell you right it's funny. He said, if you're looking for a short-term run, he said, if you're looking to come into something and just make a bunch of money and run, you know, that sort of thing, he said, we're not for you. He said, this is a company that's going to be passed down to our children. Uh, you know, he said, this is a, a generational business, if you will. We have no intention of selling it, no intention of going public. So, you know, we're looking for someone who wants to build uh, the base and the field with us long term. I was like, yes, right? Because that's what I was looking for. And I think that's probably what many of you in the room are looking for as well. Okay? So we talk a lot about our goals in 360. What, you know, what do we want to accomplish? You know, inside 360, we have uh, short term goals like for the year. I'm actually flying this afternoon to Sarasota. We're having our 2014 uh, planning meeting, okay, as far as rolling everything out for 2014. And what are our projections and what countries are we going to open? What products are we going to be releasing? All of that stuff is already pretty much mapped out. Everything is going to be, you know, basically confirmed, uh, you know, over the weekend and throughout the first part of the week. Uh, from there, though, we also have the, the five-year vision. We have a 10-year plan. We have a 20-year plan as a company. One of the things that I love about having a billionaire who's involved in the business is they don't think small. Does that make sense? You know, <laughs> Masio asked me today, he said, what are your goals in 2014? You know, sales-wise, I said, well, I said, I think we're going to do between 40 to 60 million in 2014. That's pretty good because we're going to do about 10 this year, okay? So but from 10 to 40 to 60, pretty good jump, right? Okay? 40 to 600%. He goes, he goes, really? You know, he gets really excited. He goes, what did you think about that? I was like, he said, okay, that's okay, you know? You know, 40 to 60 million, you're doing all right. Get warmed up, right? See, when you think on his level, he doesn't think in millions. He thinks in what? Yeah. Billions, right? So you start doing about a billion dollars, you're starting to do pretty good there, you know? And so it's exciting to have people that are a part of our team that think to that level, right? That think to that level. And you're going to see this, guys. Uh, in a lot of different ways. As a matter of fact, you'll see it first in January at our national uh, convention. We're calling it Now 2014 because the time of 360 is now. And I'm going to talk more about this a little later today, but guys, listen. If you're serious about this, you need to be in Orlando. It's the weekend of January 24th. Friday and Saturday is going to be absolutely incredible. And what you're going to be seeing there is you're going to be seeing more of what I'm telling you. You're going to be seeing more rollouts, if you will, of new chocolate. But you're also going to be seeing new individuals that are introduced, if you will, you know, to the team at 360. For example, we just introduced uh, and just brought on board a brand new chief marketing officer named Jan Gould. And Jan was a, an integral part of building a $400 million direct sales company called Advocate. You, you may be familiar with that. They have you know, big celebrity endorsements. So they're a huge company. It's $400 million. She was a part of that company when they were our size, right? And she was there as head of marketing all the way to $400 million. And we just took her away from a $400 million company, right, to a $10 million company, right? Why? Because of the vision of 360. She bought in from the very first day that she saw it. And by the way, ladies, just so you know, I'm excited to have her on board. She's going to bring a little more female influence, right? And uh, we need that. <laughs> we need that for sure. So we're excited about that. We're excited about what she brings to the table. She's just come on board. We have another major introduction uh, that's going to be introduced uh, in January. And I'll give you a hint, this is going to be on the product side, okay? One of the most famous doctors in the entire world is joining the 360 Chocolate team, okay? Uh, no, no, not Dr. Oz, but very close. Closer than you might realize. That'll make that comment very close to Dr. Oz. Remember that. That will make sense in January, okay? Huh? Look at you guys, man. Just, just chill. You'll find out in January. Okay? But that's, 
this is not the point. The point is, it's one of the most famous physicians, doctors in the entire world that is coming on board to the 360 family. That's going to be introduced in January. Why? Because, guys, for us, science is a big part of our, of our uh, program. There's a lot of network marketing companies out there, they kind of, they'll push that to the side. Some of them are even vocal about it. They're like, you know, we're not really worried about that. We're, try we're just trying to sell. That's what we just want to sell. Well, guys, that doesn't last very long, right? Because, you know, the sizzle at some point in time kind of starts wearing off and people start looking for real. They start looking for authenticity. They start looking for true benefit. Because at the end of the day, not every single network marketing company can go vertical forever. Guys, us or nobody else, everything at some point in time is going to what? It's going to round off, you know, so to speak. And that's when the, the efficacy of your product that's when the research of what's going into your product starts to count. That's when the science in the product begins to count. So we have a commitment to that. You know, you've seen it obviously with Zorbax technology, the two other packs, the one that goes into our candy bar and the other that goes into our truffle. And I can tell you that's just the beginning. So we will continue to produce the science and the technology to give you what? To give you a long-term vehicle. So it's not just 360. We get fired up and we hype this thing big time. When you see those types of incomes being made, you know, I think you finished off like 64000 for the first 30 days. How many of you guys know that's pretty exciting? Yes. So we're not here to be dull. We know most about that. We are, we are a very exciting company, and there will be a lot of pizzazz and a lot of excitement and a lot of sizzle around 360, okay? But I want you guys to know that at the end of the day, in our core, this is about building a multi-generational business, okay? So how many of you guys can get excited about that, about having companies here Having income that is here decades from now, that is still rolling into your bank account every Friday, okay? That's what this whole thing is about. So, five-year plan, five-year vision for 360 consists of four main components, okay? Some of you have heard me share this, but I want to go through this for those who have, okay? First and foremost, our vision is to create a chocolate company with 40 to 50 different products. 40 to 50 different products. You guys have heard the story. Uh, in my career for the last 12 years, I've been in wellness. I was privileged to, to become associated with one of the hottest wellness products in the last 20 years. We sold $300 million of one product in a liquid nutritional form, okay? The product had a great impact on people's health. And what I discovered in that process, when you introduce people to a health product that works, that truly impacts their physiological state, people will remain on that product for years. And we still have people that buy that product today. What's been now, we launched it in 2004, so we still have people, how many years is that been? Nine years? They're still buying the product today, nine years later, okay? We can't keep them off of it because of what it's done for their health. So we know how big wellness is. Uh, but then my life changed when I was mentored uh, from 2009 to 2012 by a bona fide billionaire, a gentleman who's taken six different companies to sales in excess of a billion dollars, companies like Flip Loom, uh, Christian Dior, Jordash Jeans, uh, Gatano Sportswear. Uh, these are you know, some of the companies that this gentleman built. And he took a life to me, he mentored me, and he taught me the power of branding. Right, what's the power of branding? It's not having individual products like, oh, we have that one product here, and we have another product over here, and we have another, no, no, no. What we're building at 360 is a family of products, if you will, a brand, okay, to compete with some of the largest brands in the world. And I can tell you folks that our vision is to become one of the largest chocolate companies in the world, guys. Okay? We're talking competing with the Hershey's, the Godavis, the Ghirardelli's, the Seas Candies, the Lentz, if you will, the Nestle's, okay. And so our vision in five years is 40 to 50 chocolates inside of the brand, okay? What's cool about that is that the idea, the concept is for no two chocolates to be alike. Does that make sense? Okay? In other words, guys, how'd you like to have a business where one customer is buying five or ten of your products? Yes. Okay? Well, that's how you create it, right? You take the chocolates and you create them uniquely. Everything from squares, kisses, bars, peanut butter cups, truffles, cravings, ice creams, brownies, cakes, you name it, right? If it can be done in chocolate, we are going to do it, okay? Now, what's also going to be amazing for 360 is going to be the gift market, if you will, in chocolate. For example, right? How, many, how about, how about uh, things like Valentine's Day chocolates that are created specifically for Valentine's Day or Christmas? 
and things along those lines, right? You have Mother's Day, right? I guess, or, you know, we were, we were brainstorming ideas recently. You know, imagine a little, you know, kind of like a little Christmas tree box, okay? And it has 31 little squares, or, or I guess 25 little squares inside of it. And for a child, and they punch in, right? Each little calendar day, right? And there's a 360 chocolate inside, okay? Yeah. Think about that. There's so much, guys, where this thing can go. We were talking about the ice cream uh, uh, component of our chocolate program. How many different flavors of chocolate ice cream are out there? Yeah. Right? I mean, you know, look, I mean, chocolate almond, right? Chocolate caramel, chocolate peanut butter, chocolate banana, the Shabaki Road. Anybody else? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. <laughs> yeah. Healthy cookies and cream. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on, man. And so, seriously, guys, when you think about the, the scalability, if you will, right, of this, of this concept, and that's what gets me excited. So, 40 to 50 different chocolates. Now, all of these will be different. The shapes and sizes will be unique. The flavorings will be different as well. That's one beautiful thing about chocolate. You can create so many different flavors. We actually have flavor profiles made up right now. Uh, and like our chocolate bars and stuff, we've got we have flavors, guys, and not your sauce. So we have a, a coconut chocolate out of this world. Out of this world, okay? And, uh, and this, we're just getting started. Actually, our jalapeno chocolate is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, we even have some Eugene, we even have coffee flavored chocolate, just so you know, I'll let you know, okay? So, uh, <laughs> So anyway, uh, the point is, guys, we're on to something big here, right? Now, obviously, all of these different chocolates, the, the goal, the vision here is to create that 360 degrees of health inside of the chocolates, okay? So in other words, just as no two chocolates will be the same in regard to their shape and their, the way they look and taste, you know, the flavoring and whatnot, the same thing will hold true for the health component inside the chocolate. And that's how you literally have customers that are buying three and four and five uh, products, ten products from you monthly. And they're literally buying it month after month, year after year, uh, because of the uniqueness. And once we own the space, if you will, it doesn't matter who else wants to try to compete with us. That's our space. What's interesting about that, the more people try to enter the chocolate space, all they'll do is reinforce 360 chocolate, right? Every time it happens, we see that over and over again. Uh, especially in the park where people tend to be copycats. I don't know if you know that about this. That tends to happen. So the point, guys, is you're looking at different health functionality. Chocolates for all 360 degrees of health solutions. So in other words, guys, if you see it in any type of wellness product from a health function, we want to put it into a chocolate, okay? Now, that's not easy. It's not been done before. So there's, you know, no model that you can work off of. Every product itself is unique. Uh, certain chocolates can be a seven-figure price tag depending upon what they are, how much research and development goes inside of them, uh, how to create, obviously, the product has to taste good, obviously, right? That's like with our truffles, you know, our main truffles, you know, people tell us you can't do that. You can't put fish oil inside a chocolate truffle. Well, guess what? We did it, right? We put it, we did fish oil inside of a delicious handmade chocolate truffle. That wasn't easy because there's a lot, you can imagine the logistical side, right, of harvesting uh, pure fish oil, which comes out of Norway, okay, keeping it fresh. You can imagine the logistical, the logistical challenge there. And then, of course, flavoring it, moving it into the chocolate truffle and having the stability component of that and how do you make it and all that sort of stuff. That's where so much of the science and research comes into play. Now, I'm not, that's, that's not my thing. That's for Dr. De Silva and the team to do. What I love is that when you bring world-class people into the picture and you put them in that role, that's, that's just kind of what they do. That's how they roll. And so I'm excited about that to know that we can go out and build a business long-term and we can put the work in, we can, you know, the dedication, things that it's going to take. It's not going to be easy. But to know that a year from now, five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, the income that you build will still be here. Okay? So we're excited about that. Now next, let's talk expansion. Guys, there's no uh, question in the center. We will be a truly global company. We've stepped 360 up to do that from the very first day. Okay, our vision within five years is to be in a minimum of 80 countries. Okay, hopefully closer to 100. Why? Because chocolate by nature has no borders whatsoever. Does that make sense? So, you know, chocolate is, I mean, guys, it's global already. It doesn't matter where you go throughout the world. People already love the product, right? We can go visit where Mo and Mar from in Egypt, okay? We can go to Russia. You know, we can go, I was just last week, I was over in Europe. A uh, month before last was uh, in Japan. We can go down to Africa. We can go down to Australia, right, where, uh, you know, we've got some folks that are, that are very seriously looking at coming on board. We can go anywhere around the world and we know why. 
The people we talk to already love chocolate. So it's the great equalizer, guys. You don't even have to speak the same language. All you have to do is be able to smile, say the word chocolate, and give away samples. Does that make sense? They're going to open it, and they're going to eat it, and they're going to love it. So it's pretty awesome when you think about the international expansion capability. The reason I bring that up now is not because we want you focused on international. That's not it. Matter of fact, how many of you guys are uh, from Russia, the Ukraine, the Slavic area region, you and your family? Okay, here's, here's what I want you guys to know. I believe that you will be the team right here that takes 360 to Russia, Ukraine. I believe this group will be the ones to do it. Okay, that's pretty exciting because that's pretty exciting. That being said, we're not going to start in Russia. Does that make sense? We're going to start where? Here. Sacramento. So in other words, guys, as I'm talking international, I'm not going to temper that. Uh, we still need to build Southern California. Does that make sense? We actually, there's a little town called San Francisco. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Yes. Little, little town called Oakland, right? San Jose. We need to go there first. Like I've told lots of spots. I don't ever want to come to Northern California and do all these meetings in Sacramento again. Next time I come to town, I want to be doing an event in the Bay. I want to be doing an event in San Diego, an event in L.A. In other words, let's do, let's do a California tour, if you will, right? And again, we all have contacts. So what I'm saying is, we are going to go international, but I want to temper that for a moment and let you know that the way we're going to get to the international market is going to be right through buildings about California, Arizona, Nevada. See, I define cities when people say, are you open in XYZ town? I don't define that as, do I have a distributor who's signed up in that particular city? I define that as are there open functions that are happening on a consistent basis, uh, whether it be monthly, bi-monthly, or weekly in that particular town or city. If the answer to that is no, we're not open there. Uh, we may have a few folks signed up, but so what, right? Uh, wholesale buyers or whatever. I'm talking about leaders. And so guys, when you look at the U.S. map of how much is still left to be open, it's crazy. It really is, right? When you think about, uh, that's just yeah, that's where we are size-wise, and that's what makes the opportunity what it is for each one of us, okay? So 80 to 100 countries, guys, I don't, again, my vision that the sun will never set on 360 chocolate, I just believe this. I believe that if a billion people are already buying chocolate every day without us, okay, it's unhealthy. I believe we can get a sizable percentage of those people to want to get healthier by eating their chocolate. Does that make sense? If 50% of adults in America are already buying supplements or using them every day in the form of a pill, a tablet, a capsule, a power, or this or that, I believe a certain percentage of those are going to want to get it through chocolate. I just believe they will. And so I don't know, what's your vision? I can ask them, where are you guys going? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We can put it, I can put a term out there if you wanted to, just for marketing. You know, and I think that will reveal itself as we continue to move forward. I think this idea is, is large enough that it's still unfolding in front of us on a daily and weekly basis. Does that make sense? Okay, it is. I do know this. I know for a fact we'll have 40 to 50 products. In five years, I know for a fact we'll be in at least 80 countries. And by the way, we just launched five products this year. Okay, we went to seven countries this year. So in our first year, if we can do five products in seven countries, right, imagine what we can do in year two, in year three, in year four. So I know we'll do that, and I know, as sure as I'm standing before you, I know for a fact that this company will do a billion dollars of sales in five years. Now guys, I have never, in my whole 18 year career, I have never uh, been around a company that had that kind of potential, a billion in five years. I mean, we built companies to 50 million and that sort of thing. That's awesome, without a doubt. Or 100 million or two or 300, those are big numbers. But to take a company to a billion dollars, guys, I don't know about you, that's worth the journey just by itself. Just being a part of that. Knowing that you were a major player in creating a billion dollar business, that you had like whole digit percentages of a billion dollar company down below you, folks, that's amazing, right? And so that's when you start talking about the potential of creating real generational wealth for your family, where millions upon millions of dollars are passed down, okay? So we're excited about that, guys, over a billion in sales within five years, and here's where the career path starts to kick in. That is the ripple effect into the incomes that are earned in 360, okay? Our vision within five years, 40 to 50 products in Europe, 80 to 100 countries, over a billion dollars in total sales, and you this, over 1,000 people that earn over a million dollars in business, over 1,000, okay? Now listen, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Check it out. I'll be honest with you. 
when, when we started looking at the ripple effect of a billion in sales, you don't go from a zero to a billion in one year. You're going to go from you know, 10 million to 50 million to 200 million, right, to 500 million to a billion, and that's how the growth is going to happen. So it's going to equate to, you know, by the time it's all said and done, a couple of two and a half billion in total sales that are generated just to get there. And as I started plugging those numbers into the comp plan, I was shocked. Okay, at the amount of, of income generated when you look at our total payout, uh, there's, I mean, it, it will happen, guys. When you look at, man, look at what's happened already, when you see this, I, I was blown away. Because I'm thinking, you know, uh, what if we can help 100 people become millionaires in the next month? That's, I mean, how many people do you know have ever done that? That's a pretty cool goal, right? You know? And then all of a sudden, the numbers started cranking out on the back end. I was like, wow, this is going to be an exciting ride, an exciting journey. So when people ask me, you know, what is, what do you do this for? You know, I can sometimes say, how do you do it? You know, they'll say, well, you're sure away from home a lot. How do you do it? Or you sure work a lot. Can you guys begin to see how we do it? Right? Because it's, it's again, it's that old saying, folks, that to find that, that magnificent obsession, to find that thing that you're willing to truly pour yourself out there for. Because to me, in my opinion, that's what makes network marketing worth it when it's done the right way. But network marketing done the wrong way is ugly. Okay? But when it's done the right way, that's what this business is all about. That's what gives the richness. It's not even the money. You'll ask me sometimes, you know, you'll say things like, well, how much did you make here? I'm like, I don't know. I don't even, sometimes I don't even look. I mean, I don't even have a Visa card, guys. My wife has that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing the deal. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Just, let's just let's go build. So for me, it's not about it. Now, let me tell you, it is about rank. It is about goals because you have to have, I am obsessed with our goals, like for, for Mosca at Diamond, I was obsessed with him hitting Diamond, as we see. We were obsessed with him creating that first 30-day story. But not, it wasn't because of the money, you know what I'm saying? His life hasn't changed, okay? He doesn't live in a different house, he's driving the same car, okay? He's wearing the same clothes. Life hasn't changed for him since he made 60 grand, right? It wasn't about the money, it was about the goals. About the money was just a measuring stick, if that makes sense, right? So we do get, we do get very obsessed on that, so I want to clarify. But what I want you guys to realize that for me is what we're doing with 360 is it's about something that's so much bigger, you know. And it's about really truly, guys, make it to me, this is what gives life the touch. You know what I'm saying? Our business isn't everything and all that. But I just know folks, I believe that sometimes what happens when we get older and we, you know, we get out in the workforce and we have kids and we kind of we get away from, you know, experiencing life, we kind of fall into that rut. You know, that same thing day to day. We may be successful, we the same thing over and over again. You know, we take a different route to work, so we get a different pot ball, just have a little variety. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know what a rut is, don't you? It's nothing more than a brain that has the ends kicked out of it. That's all it is. You know? So I don't want to be in a rut, right? I want to, I want to go out of here. Let's, let's make an impact on the world, guys. Let's do something here. Let's take that blessing bonus and let's, I mean, let's bless the lives of millions of people around the world with our blessing bonus. Hundreds of millions of dollars being paid out over the next five years with the blessing bonus, right? The lifestyle, the health insurance, the impact that has on just all these different components that we have in place, guys. Let's go make an impact. Does that make sense? How many of you guys can get excited about that? The leaders of this company, guys, were sold out, okay? Uh, there is no uh, second option. The, the bridges have all been burned, okay? There is no source of retreat. It doesn't exist. We are taking this bait to the top. I told somebody when we first got launched and we first kicked this off, I said, here's the deal. I said, you're going to find me in one or two places. I said, you're going to find me on the top of the mountain, okay? Uh, at the very top, at, at the scale of the mountain, or you will find me down on the side, but you will not find me going down. We are going to make this thing Specific goals here, guys. We got to get practical because it's easy to talk about the vision. The vision's huge, man. It is huge. And when you think about it, it's like, wow, this thing has got the ability to go all over the world. This, I mean, the product here, the amount, I mean, it's, it's, it's got huge potential. And that's all very important. But we need to get practical and really talk about how we are going to stage your business, okay, for the growth on a go forward basis. Ladies and gentlemen, ranks or pins are a function. Okay? Pins are a function. Rank. Achievement. 
And that's why we have them within the company. They are specific guideposts, if you will, or benchmarks for us to focus in on achievement. Now, they're not everything, okay? However, what pen levels do or rank does for us is it provides proof, okay? It provides proof for our prospects. It provides proof for ourselves. It provides milestones, right? You know, benchmarks, if you will, to hit and those types of things. So the ranks in the company, guys, are extremely, extremely important. So let's talk about the ranks that are within 360, and let's talk about how to best help you accomplish them. And we're going to talk about specifically the 360 system of how we turn rank faster than any other network marketing company in history, okay? Now, what I'm writing up here on the board right now, I want you to write these down. You need to commit these numbers here in memory, guys. You need to know these. This is not something you should have to look at. It's not something you should have to pull a document out or go online for. These are the numbers, if you will, okay? Um, let me scoot this over for you guys. These are the numbers of ranks uh, within the company, okay, of what it takes for what's called enrollment tree volume, okay? Enrollment tree volume. Okay. These are the rank numbers for each one. Can everybody see? Can you guys on these sides? Can you see? Okay, I want you to write those down. These are numbers, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to know. These are numbers that you need to commit to, to memory. Okay, very, very important. Thank you, Muscle. Okay. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start with what are the targets. And guys, again, we use the rank because the rank is a measurable uh, uh, goal. Okay, it's specific. All right, and there's whole saying specificity rules the world. Okay, the world does not operate on generalities. Meaningful, specific. Okay, and that's what the ranks do for us. So what I'm going to say to you is this. You may not be into the recognition. That may not be your concern. You may not be into, you know, needing to be a leader, may not be your concern, okay? But even if that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, you still need to get very focused and very committed to rank, okay? And I'll give you an example. When I came to the company, even though I came on board as VP of sales of the company, I knew that for me to be able to get a Rossio Fulcher on board and for him to believe in what he could accomplish, I knew for a fact that I had to be able to accomplish it myself. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when I came on board of the company, I knew for a fact that I had a rank that I had to hit. Now for me, I set that rank at nine. That's not to say that should be yours. That was the goal that I set, okay? And I said, I am going to hit nine if it kills me, okay, within the first 30 days. Now, when we started this process, we had one chocolate, we had no brochure, we had no chocolate website, okay? We had, uh, as I said, one product. We had no proven uh, uh, success. We had one leader that was making about uh, $8,000 a month. It was gold, okay? So that was what was in the company at that time, okay? Now, I had uh, been involved in a previous business uh, where I had been a paid consultant to the company. So as a result of that, I was involved in a non-compete. So I could not go after that previous organization. So I literally had to start from scratch. I had to make my own list. Okay? I had to start doing my own chocolate happy hours at my house. I had to start doing my own watch calls. It was one of the greatest things that ever happened, just so you know. Because I was forced to get right back in to do the business in a very authentic way. And so I literally put my own list together. I had uh, probably, all told, probably 3,000 people on my list when I first got started. Uh, I literally, uh, from the very first morning, the time in the morning, I got on the phone. And I literally dialed the phone until I could dial no more every single day. Okay? It took me not 30 days, it took me 45 days, but we hit diamond 45 days into the process. Okay? Now, did I need to go diamond? No, I don't, even, I don't even have rank. But the point was, guys, I had to make the accomplishment reality. Uh, why? So that others could see it for themselves as well because of the specificity of the achievement uh, of each one of the ranks. Okay? So when it comes to rank, first, we have higher than diamond, we're going we're gonna to stop it here for the time being. First and foremost, guys, is executive. Executive is one of the biggest and most important components to our plan. Everybody here knows that the 360 star is basically an executive within the first 30 days, right? So executive is a very important rank within the company and a thousand points of volume, okay? Next, we have bronze, 4,000. Very, very important level. That's when you begin to receive your blessing bonus, 
Okay? Matter of fact, on the back of your win sheet, just so you know, uh, you'll see the different rank. Do we have a win sheet uh, that's handy by chance? 360u.biz. Okay? If you uh, can click on forms, we'll pull it up. And I want you to go to the bottom of page two. We have what's called the stairway to success. So bronze is 4,000. So if you get back up here, executive 1,000 points. Okay? Executive puts you into your very first IFS. And of course, if you make executive within 30 days, you're a star. Okay? Bronze, 4,000 points. Bronze takes you up from a, this is a 4% IFS at executive. Bronze is 8%, just so you know. Okay? It's uh, actually up to $50 to infinity. And you also begin receiving your blessing bonus. Now, at each one of our ranks, you also earn additional levels in our unit level. You also earn additional levels of matching the generational bonuses, etc., at certain levels in our business. Okay? Silver, 10,000 points of volume. Silver, guys, is really the most important rank in our entire company, just so you know. Executive silvers and diamonds. Okay? The other ones are very important as well, don't get me wrong. But you're going to build your business off of executives. You're going to build it off of silver, you're going to build it off of uh, diamonds. Silver, 10,000 points. In just a few minutes, we're going, to, we're going to map this out for you specifically on how to hit silver very, very quickly. Next is gold. And by the way, at silver, you start getting your lifestyle levels, okay? You also get an increase in your blessing. Uh, and you get up to 17% in the IFS at silver. So again, lifestyle bonus, increase in blessing, 17% IFS. You also begin to receive your generational bonuses at silver, which is a big deal. I'm sorry, excuse me, the uh, uh, unilevel bonus. Sometimes I wrote the plan, sometimes I forget stuff, you know. We need that memory chart, by the way. How many of you guys would like to see that memory chart? Oh, we had a great idea last night. Where's uh, is, uh, Madison? In uh, Madison here with us? I had a young lady approach me last night. She is a, she is a, a young baby, kind of, like, kind of similar to Jesse's size. And uh, she said, Steve, she said, what about a prenatal chocolate for moms? Woo! That's a great idea. We will do that. Thank you. I said, we'll name it Matt. We'll name it. We'll put your baby on the picture or something. On, 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 the, on the pack. Right? Okay. Uh, down at the very bottom. Here we go. Let's get this over here. So you guys can see the stairway to success there, okay? Um, 5%. Can you, can you scroll it up anymore, Gene? Okay. Yeah, just, just roll that down the bottom if you would. There we go. So you got there, you see executive. These are major benefits and rewards, obviously. 5% star pool, again, blessing bonus and bronze. Uh, silver, you start your lifestyle bonus. And there's other benefits that kick in as well. At the gold level, guys, you begin kicking in with your luxury car bonus. You begin kicking in with the uh, 360 care of the medical plan. And also, you begin to kick in with your global bonus pool, which is our version of profit sharing very powerful income component. There's, it's crazy. We show a plan. We have major income sources in our career path, uh, more than the average network marketing company. We don't even show them, you know what I mean? Because just, there's only so much you can get into when you're introducing the business to someone. Uh, all of these uh, components, guys, by the way, of our comp plan, we have a great series of comp plan videos at 360university.biz. We also have our comp plan document. And guys, you don't need to read that to get started. But I would encourage you as you move forward to get a little bit more familiar, print that detailed comp plan document off so you can begin understanding the components. Now that does not mean that you go start sharing that. It doesn't mean you start using that during your presentations. I've, you know, some people say to me, you know, well, I was reading the policies and procedures. I'm like, I've never read the policies and procedures, ever, still to this day. You know what I, mean? I trust that they're, they're good and whatever. You don't, you don't need to get into those details, but you do need to understand your plan and how it works, okay? Next, you have Platinum 55,000. That's where you start kicking in your 360K retirement plan. You also, of course, increased in car bonus. You have an increased blessing. Uh, you have increases in your uh, health and medical insurance payout. So there's increases at every level as well. But we introduce your 360K retirement plan. And at Diamond, uh, 150,000 points is where you begin to tap into total financial freedom, 30 to 40,000 a month plus, uh, and a number of other benefits that begin to kick in at the Diamond level. Okay. And there are a few things that we still have up our sleeve that we haven't introduced yet to the comp plan, uh, specifically starting at the diamond rank. Now, as you look here, guys, okay, you can see that all you have to do is duplicate 360 star, which is the DNA of our plan. You just simply replicate that over and over again. It's very clean for you to hit the ranks. Not difficult to be able to do. If you look at the 
the duplication levels of stars, right? You get your three, help them make star, help them make stars. You can see with each one of our rank, it only takes, for example, silver is only 10, 360 stars, okay? Uh, gold is only 25, 360 stars, platinum 55, and of course, diamond is 150. Now, with that said, I'm going to have Masio come up a few minutes and train on this. You're not going to have your business operate that cleanly. Okay, how many of you guys know it's not going to work perfect like that? Okay, it's not. Well, let me get my three, and you go. You go get your three. Now, it should be that clean. Have you ever thought about this? If you simply replicate 360 star, we know we have to get it within a month. Well, we like to help people do it within a month. Okay, so if you replicate 360 star nine levels down, it should only take you nine weeks to have 29,523 people in your team. It should, or a minimum nine months, right? Does it happen that way? No. Why? Right. People, exactly, right? The best and worst part of network marketing is us, okay? We are it, okay? So uh, the point is, no, the people get in there and we kind of, you know, we, we, we I don't say mess it up, you know, we, we break down the duplication, let's put it that way. Uh, but when you look at our plan and how clean it is, what I love about it is you literally can go all the way to diamond, folks, by literally just taking those three, you know, levels and just replicating them over and over.